victory. I can't believe we haven't located Sonic yet. Gee, I wonder where he went. Maybe he went to an alternate universe where everything got fucked. Oh, wait, there he, oh, is. Wait, there he is. He looks really blue in this scene. I've been looking yeah, he does. What is that whoops? <laughs> yeah, what is that whoop sound? That never happens when, during the gameplay. <laughs> I guess he wanted to be extra noisy, so he's just like, I'm an alien now. I am Dubstep the Hedgehog. <laughs> Can you uh, how annoying it would be if you actually did that in game, though? Oh, that'd be really annoying. <laughs> just, like, every oh, time you... hi, I'm Rando Chris, and I'm Hyper Chaotic Fox on YouTube and Logan McLeod everywhere else, including uh, various bases in Russia. <laughs> so yes, we have Silver's version of the Sonic vs. Silver boss fight. Look how easy this shit is! Silver's OP. OP. Valve, please nerf. <laughs> Along with the yeah, we gun. need about a 925 megabyte update here. <laughs> I'm just... Wow. Sp <laughs> I only got hit because no I... Use. I only got hit because I was trying to... Throw the stuff at Sonic, but I was just shooting in the wrong direction. You got hit once. <laughs> yeah. It's like, okay. Silver's fight lasted 40 seconds. How long did Sonic's fight last? Oh, uh, I think it was like a minute and a half or two minutes. How many takes did you do? Thankfully, it was only two, but I only got lucky. <laughs> Is this a joke? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah this it's game a joke. Really Sonic a comes joke. up and goes, April Fool's Mephilus pats him on the back. Oh, just kidding. Now let's play a card game, because I'm voiced by Dan Green. Well, Silver, finally, the Yu-Gi-Oh! Championships. <laughs> he did turn your back on you as a mean of disrespect, you dumbass! It's like, he's trying to escape. He's like, don't you dare turn your what? What did he say? Is he personally offensive now? Ah, close up. Oh yeah, the models are really ugly when you zoom up on them. At least Amy's model. Uh, hey, you're turning your back on me again! Uh, I, th I think these models were kind of like half unfinished because they look good from certain angles, but other angles it's just... Uh. It's the eyes, mostly. He's For me, it's kind of the mouth. Look at Silver's world. nose constantly wiggling when he talks. It's, it's like Mickey Mouse when his <laughs> nose moves. In the near future, his actions will cause the devastation of my world. So I must. No, I don't believe it. Even if that was true, if I had to choose between the world and Sonic, I would choose. Wow. So selfish. <laughs> If I had to choose between the death of millions and one person, I'd choose one person because I'm a misled teenager. And I want his penis. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. We all know that's what she wants. It's the truth. Oh, hey, Blades. Where have you been? Where have you been this whole plot? There you are. I've been looking for you. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much how everything goes... Until this point, you'd forget she's even part of the Silver story. Yeah, she's... <clears throat> her only purpose, really, is just to say, Hey, you liked her in Sonic Rush, right? Well, now she's in an official Sonic game. Well, I mean, like a canon Sonic game, sort of. A console Sonic game. <laughs> a former canon oh. Sonic game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh wait, he, she said what, Silver's defining personality, he's naive. No. He's not naive, I don't think he's naive, I think he's stupid. I think he's a bit naive, but still. Yeah. Since he's after Dr. Eggman, let's sneak into Eggman's base. Brilliant plan! Yes, we will sneak into the doctor's base. 
Oh boy, so yeah, in this part I've decided to do some of the side missions since I've noticed I never really did any of them for a video. And I think I chose the worst ones to showcase in this one. Yeah, like the loading screen is a challenge in itself. Yeah. Uh, so, yay, the hub world. Isn't it pretty? Buy stuff! The shock bracelet! Fight! Or, yeah. Shock bracelet, the... Probably the most useful thing you can equip for silver. I'm trying to think about what the value of rings to, like, US dollars ratio would be, because you can find rings just lying around. Yeah, who who leaves rings lying around anyway? Just like this obese guy who's carrying mass Eggman. bags of... That's it. No, not, no, not Eggman. <laughs> he wouldn't be throwing his money around, just leaving it everywhere. <laughs> I don't, I don't um, know. Wait, 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 wait. Have you... Do you remember uh, Penny Bags from Spyro the Dragon? I never played Spyro. Oh. Don't hurt me. Well, anyway, this character named Penny Bags, he always has, you know, a bag of gems that you would give him to do something. Well, I'm, I'm imagining a guy like him carrying bags full of rings, and there's just holes all over these bags, and the rings are just falling out. He's like, oh dear, I wish someone would clean these up for me and give them to me later for profit. Oh wait! I've realized something. I could set up an entire economic system based around these rings. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Uh, you just anyway. We just skipped over something amazing here. A loading screen for her to make one noise, and then loading again. And a, te and a text box. Yes, I know. I played this. Oh, I did too. But I just wanted to point it out. Loading. Mm. Oh, loading. Uh, believe, uh, believe me, I noticed it when I. Played it. I, I think it'd be actually funny if they changed it into just like a really goofy sounding sound. I mean, like on purpose, like this. It's like now loading. <laughs> oh, loading. <laughs> <laughs> that that may be worth it if the loading screens weren't so yeah. long. Like this, like now loading. <laughs> loading. <laughs> Now loading. Ooh, let's celebrate by watching the Spy Skills movie. Now loading. Here comes a billboard. Now loading. Now loading. M Night Shyamalan. Uh, no. <laughs> now loading the last no, Airbender. No, <laughs> oh no, that'd be terrible. It's like shut down the game. Now loading. Like after Sonic loading. Six. No, after a loading screen, you just have to watch the entirety of The Last Airbender to get back to the game. Yeah. Like, fuck it, this ain't worth it. Now loading the loading screen. <laughs> now loading the 4Kids National Anthem. Oh, doesn't that bring you great memories, huh? I, I, the four yeah, kids I, I remember, like, seeing that, actually. It's like... I didn't know you could actually pick up parking lot signs. Anyway, um, I remember seeing that on 4Kids, <laughs> and I was disappointed, to say the least. Um, but still. <laughs> yeah! Oh, really? You had expectations that that would be any good? Well, I mean, I mean, at that at that point in time, I was like, how old? So I was like, I don't know, Sonic's going to be in it, right? Oh, God. I was like, what? I think 12 or something. <laughs> <laughs> you you had high expectations for four kids when you were 12, didn't you? I was a little kid. I was a, son, I was a little, huge See, Sonic that, fan. That's seventh, that's seventh grade. That's not little. That's middle school. I was 12. You were a preteen. Still. <laughs> You're just like, oh, but you know, I, I, I wanted Sonic to sing good. At, at least he did good. Everyone else just sucked. I, I didn't think Sonic singing voice was all that good. <laughs> that's that's why I was, that's one of the reasons I was disappointed. I was just like, Sonic, you're not a singer. <laughs> There's just some characters who you should never have seen, like Wolverine. <laughs> That'd be funny. Well, I mean, Hugh Jackman. 
Well, yeah, but I mean... That would be awesome okay. if he just, like, did an opera, but in the Wolverine costume. Oh my goodness. <laughs> It would only it would only go well if the songs were about things relevant to Wolverine. Well, yeah. Like, oh, I, I, I want to take some lyrics. Coming out of my hands. I am going to kill Sabretooth, cause he is a fucking bastard, <laughs> bub. <laughs> Sorry, that's the best I can come up with. Obviously, singing improv is not my thing. Yeah. So, yes, I, I do another side mission, and, well, I think I was looking for another side mission, but I also wanted to show off, you know, the awesomeness of running diagonally on a curb. I want to I wanna see if anyone could actually pull that off in real life. <laughs> Just running like <laughs> that on the sidewalk without giving the, like, what's it, what's it called for, for your ankles? It's like, it's not carpal tunnel, is it? No, I don't think it's called carpal tunnel. It's, it's like, it's like carpal tunnel for your ankles. Luppy. Oh, sorry. Don't be scared. There's a new green I came over. Yeah. Um, people are. Freaks. I like how his, his, his description is middle-aged man. <laughs> what? It should have been a guy who should be put in a mental mental institution they for have coming up with, with Luppy. Like, like just goofy names. Like even, even if they're just like, Pierre. Anything, anything, just like funny names or something, even cameos. Kind of like they did in uh, Sonic Unleashed when you went to Eggman Land. You could actually talk to robots, and their names were kind of codes for Sonic games. Oh, wow, really? Yeah, like, there was <clears throat> MD 1991, which MD stood for Mega Drive. Oh, wow, that's kind of and cool. And there was also... And <laughs> this random person here. There was also one for go Sonic away, 06. Go away, just go away. <laughs> Oh, yeah, there was, I think it was just XB 2006. <laughs> so yeah, enjoying this beautiful pier or uh, this beautiful docking station. And this lovely Isn't camera it pretty? angles. I was trying to see if I could climb up there because I thought you know you could get a gem and I mean those coins or something, but whatever. I didn't. I didn't manage to get far, except for that one. <laughs> Coin collecting. Oh, -ho! what the heck? Hatsune the pigeon. What? I didn't know you could talk to pigeons in this game. I've never seen that Hats before. Hatsune is automatically the best okay. Sonic civilian okay. ever. Suddenly, I have more respect for this <laughs> game. <laughs> Did you see the box? Yeah. yeah, but I didn't know you could actually talk to a pigeon. That I, <laughs> this game has suddenly got like. And I <laughs> and I threw the box at this. Roberta! This, this game suddenly at got two points in my book. <laughs> <laughs> For being able to talk to a That's pigeon. That's awesome. <laughs> just <laughs> walk up to a pigeon, talk to it, and this is cool. <laughs> and give him a cracker. <laughs> I mean, wow. Because, I mean, you think about it, someone actually has to have gone in and programmed that on purpose. Yeah. And, I mean, to, to me, that's just awesome. I just like little stuff like that. <laughs> I th oh yeah, Th oh yeah. <laughs> Didn't you also do that to a dog, or was that? Yeah, I think it could talk to a dog too, but pff, pigeons are cooler. Yeah. But... Okay, yeah, I I messed this up. I did not know why. I I think I did. Yeah, it was after these two. Like, oh yeah, I accidentally got su I. What the? <laughs> what the? <laughs> The barrel was supposedly exploded. Huh. Yeah. I, it looked like there was just static for a second. That was weird. It looked like your game yeah. crashed. <laughs> I know. I was laughing my ass off when I saw it. Because, wait. What? They couldn't include an explosion? Are they that cheap? Or that that'd be weird if it was actually supposed to make your game crash. Oh, that would have been terrible. Yeah. It's like long loading screens just to intentionally make your game crash. Yeah. 
Yeah, the red barrel is the most dangerous. Don't let them touch it. Then why do you have these barrels out in the open? <laughs> I know I'm trying to bring logic into this, but seriously? Are people that stupid that if there are bad barrels that are going to explode if something touches them, then why have them out for them to be touched? I did, I'm sorry, sir. I didn't know people were going to use this nuclear bomb to their advantage that we left in the middle of the street. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much. Wow, what they fire it is. missiles really slowly. Yeah, because you're supposed to collect them and shoot them back. Collecting yeah, missiles. I thought. Yeah. <laughs> you almost hit it that there. Would've... That would have sucked if that caused them to explode. It's cool. That, it's funny that you can throw missiles faster than they can fire them. Well, well. To be fair, that's kind of like the power of your psychokinesis. Just like, eh. still, I mean, the fact that those missiles. Oh, can... oh, oh! I love this. Oh, good. We've prevented the explosion. Thank you so and much. She's standing right next to it too. I know. What the heck? <laughs> like she, she's doing her little dance. She smacks it. Oh shit! No, she, she just like elbows it on accident. Boom. <laughs> Everything dies. Eggman wins. <laughs> Eggman's like, wow. <laughs> that was greasy. <laughs> the silver is the Iblis trigger then. <laughs> uh, I, yeah, this, this stupid dialogue. We've prevented the explosion. You just stood around and was like, ah, somebody help. Blaze is like, okay, just take me along for the ride. <laughs> Since you're too cheap to get a car, you bastard. Yeah, I just love how Sonic characters, their main mode of transportation is just their own two feet. Well, I don't see any cars. I don't know. Why, why no, are there cars streets? Are... Now that I think about it. Well, the thing is, cars are only reserved for Shadow. <laughs> Yeah, Shadow they, they owns paved all the streets cars. just for Shadow. Yeah. All hail Shadow. All hail Shadow! Our Lord and Savior, Shadow the Hedgehog. Huh? Middle aged woman. We know she's middle aged because she's wearing Boy. glasses. <laughs> what if that was his name? Come here, boy. And wait, how the heck would he sneak in if there was um like laser security? He would get burnt to crisp. Wow, what a nice painting. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Why the crap of this? This is I think in this is actually my second favorite level in this game. Really? What's your first? Crisis City as Sonic. I mean, as oh. White Acropolis as Sonic, and Crisis City as Sonic. Okay. I, I want to say King, Kingdom Valley is my third. This is my favorite part of the level. <laughs> Can't you tell? <laughs> I love the music in this level. I mean, the music in this whole game is actually really good. <laughs> Yeah, the music's pretty good. It's just that everything else is done rather mediocre. Yeah. <laughs> or gameplay's mediocre, graphics are mediocre, story is terrible. Eh, graphics aren't too bad comparatively, compared to like the horribleness of the story and whatnot. It's like, music is best, graphics are eh, and everything else is blah. Why, well, I, mean, I mean like graphics for like every, I mean... Usually when I think of graphics, I usually think of, like, the character models. Those are mediocre, mm. big time. I mean, for 2006. I mean, this is Sonic's first... This was Sonic's first, um... Next-gen game. Yeah, first yeah, HD know. game, even. I love how Blaze breaks the fourth wall to help me. <laughs> she gives me advice. I like that. I wonder... You know it would be great? A Sonic game that didn't break the fourth wall ever. Not even with help icons. That would be something. It'd be, it'd be like it'd be like a Valve game. It'd be like because sometimes I mean they rarely ever give you an actual 
hint as to, you know, like, pre press this button, a character would say. <laughs> if if oh, they, you, if oh, you they mean ever stuff say like that, that, it's usually on screen, and it, it's not the character saying it. It's just a little thing on screen saying, press this button. To like, do this. You, like characters aren't saying, rotate the left analog stick to get out of this situation. Nope, it's just how do we get in, like, all the Avowal games I play, it's just... The characters are like, how do we get out of here? And then you figure it out yourself and you feel like a genius. <laughs> <laughs> I feel smart. SMRT. I'm so smart. It'd be cool if a, Sonic, if a Sonic game was just so well designed that you didn't ever need any help. I mean, you don't Maybe. really need help to begin with, but I mean, just like... Like... Yeah. Um, just use the instruction manual. But I mean, where Sega was so confident you didn't need help that they wouldn't even put any question marks anywhere. Now they gotta cater to the kids. What kids? Ugh, <laughs> oh, crap, the best part's over!